First down and 10 central, 9.20 to play. First half, we're tied at 15. Columns back, Vikings blitz pass, intercepted by Blocker. He's got a blocker. He's to the 50, 40, 30. One guy to beat, stiff arm, 20, 15. He's going in, 10, 5. What a play. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown, Blocker. In 1993, the Portland State Vikings maintained their position as the top Division II football program on the West Coast. In their first season under new head coach Tim Walsh, the Vikings tackled one of the toughest schedules in the country and came up with a top five national ranking and another berth in the national playoffs. The Vikings' rise to prominence in recent years clearly makes Portland State the place to be in Division II. Along with an excellent football program, student athletes benefit from excellence in education and quality of life in one of America's most beautiful and livable cities. Intercollegiate athletics are an important part of the university. The Vikings compete in 12 sports and enjoy a national reputation for excellence. The Vikings regularly compete for national titles in football, wrestling, softball, and women's basketball. The Vikings volleyball team has won four national titles in the last decade. One of Portland's most popular events is Portland State Viking football. For six consecutive years, attendance has averaged more than 10,000 a game. 1993 was a record-setting year, with the Vikings averaging more than 12,700. Better than 22,000 packed Civic when the Vikes hosted top-rated North Alabama. The Vikings' popularity has helped them host 14 NCAA playoff games over the last seven seasons. The large crowds are watching some great football. Over seven years, the Vikings have been invited to the playoffs six times, twice playing in the championship game and two other times reaching the semifinals. Yeah! Yeah! Viking players continue to draw national attention. Quarterback Bill Matos was a finalist for the 1993 Harlan Hill Trophy as Division II Player of the Year. Matos carried on the Vikings tradition of quarterbacking excellence by passing for more than 3,000 yards and throwing 21 touchdown passes. He's the third Viking quarterback in six years to be named a Harlan Hill finalist. Joining All-Americans Chris Crawford, the runner-up in 1988, and John Charles, who finished third in 1992. Linebacker Rick Cruz also gained national notice in 1993. Cruz was named to the Kodak Coaches College Division All-America team. The 6'4", 245-pound Cruz was as dominant as any player in Division II and is expected to be an early round pick in the NFL draft. Cruz and defensive end Herman Smith were invited to play in the Snow Bowl, the Division II All-Star Game. Smith, a 6'5", 250-pounder with 4'6 speed, had another big year and also caught the eye of NFL scouts. Matos, Cruz, and Smith were just three of the bright spots as coach Tim Walsh and his staff made their first season a successful one. While reaching the playoffs, the Vikings also continued their fine offensive tradition. Portland State ranked 10th in the nation in passing under new offensive coordinator Bob Cole. Defensive coordinator Dan Brown fashioned the Vikings into a fast attacking big play unit. The Vikings intercepted 16 passes and scored four touchdowns. While the seniors will certainly be missed, the Vikings appear ready to reload and make another run at a national title. 320-pound Akaba Delaney returns to anchor the defensive line after leading the Vikings in quarterback sacks and tackles for loss. At linebacker, two impact players return. Jeff Bockert is the leading returning tackler after making 67 stops and many big plays. 
Jason Rome is back for his senior season after making six quarterback sacks in 1993. Rome is a mainstay on the Vikings defense, 175 tackles over the last two seasons. The secondary returns intact. Cornerback Larry Austin led the Vikings with five interceptions and ten breakups. Sam Peoples also returns after making three picks as a junior. He ran one back for a touchdown. On offense, plenty of firepower returns. Portland State going to hand it off to Holmes. Big hole, 50, 45. Cuts outside, 40. Still on his feet, 30. Cut back, 25, 20. It's a foot race, and he's going to win it. He's to the 10. He's going home. Touchdown, Vikings. Touchdown, home. Running back Derek Holmes led the Vikings in rushing, receiving, and touchdowns. When healthy early in the year, Holmes displayed great moves and breakaway speed. Backfield mate Jim Keller is another versatile and elusive runner. Keller was second on the team in pass receptions and also number two in rushing. He also averaged five and a half yards every time he carried the ball, best on the team. Holmes and Keller combined to catch 95 passes, a new Viking record for running backs. With the dynamic duo returning, the backfield looks potent for 1994. The passing game will also be bolstered by the return of preseason All-American Matt James, who was the Vikings' top receiver in 93 until an injury sidelined him in Week 7. James still led the team with five touchdown catches and his 20 yards per reception average. James will be healthy to start 94 and aiming to repeat his fine sophomore season of 1992 when he caught 56 passes for more than 900 yards. Sean Williams also returns at receiver. Williams stepped in for the injured James and made some big plays late in the year. The junior from Oakland caught 23 passes, four going for touchdowns. Portland State will need every bit of that firepower and more as the 1994 schedule looks to be the toughest in school history. The Vikings open at Oregon of the Pac-10. The Ducks have been to postseason bowl games three times in the last five years and will be led by record-breaking quarterback Danny O'Neill. The Vikings also play Division II powers Texas A&M Kingsville and Angelo State from the rugged Lone Star Conference, plus Eastern Washington and Idaho State from the 1AA Big Sky Conference. It will be a challenge for the Vikings, but Portland State has been meeting the challenge for many years. And in 1994, the Vikings will again be setting their sights on winning the national championship.